Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is my second make of 2021. Um, I pushed this one up in my queue um, because I was just way too curious how this was would be put together and how it would look on me. Um, but first of all, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. Um, also, a couple administrative things. Thank you for all of the comments and everything um, on previous videos. I've been trying to keep up with the comments um, and because a lot of videos have been pre-recorded, some things may be a little delayed, but that's okay. I will definitely get back um, in the comments. I believe I'm all caught up now. Um, but yeah, I am so excited about today's um, review and to tell you how this dress came together. And so, as you can see, I have it on. It, it just, it came together beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. So also stay tuned because, let me see. The next video you will see, I will be doing an update um, review or my thoughts on my Genome um, HD 3000 or Genome HD 3000 um, in my top 25, I believe it was, Notions video. Um, I talked about um, the machine a little bit and asked if anybody was interested and an update, even though I haven't gone back for classes, in-person classes, but I'll talk about that in that video. And also, thank you to those who asked, as several people asked, when I did the top 25 notions and tools um, that I use, I totally did not talk anything about my marking tools. So what I will do in the next video, you'll hear me give an update on the Genome HD 3000, as well as um, uh, the marking tools that I use for marking my fabric and different stuff like that. And so um, it'll be pretty related because I'll be talking about some bag making stuff too. Um, so all of that will be related because I'll be showing you the marking tools I use for bag making. But anyway, let's jump into today's video. Yes, I finally, finally went ahead. You all know I just picked this up, this pattern during the Black Friday sale that Chalk and Notch had. Um, I believe it was 20 or 25% off. I don't remember, really remember, but at any rate, um, they increased their size line range for the uh, fringe dress and blouse. So I went ahead and um, picked it up. Um, I've noticed this, I know I'm late on the late train. I've noticed this pattern for quite some time. It's been out I don't know, several years, um, a few years, two, three maybe. Um, but uh, I think I mentioned when I picked this up, I was influenced by watching um, Andrea, I believe that's her first name, from Beyond the Pink Door. She made like, this is like one of her favorite patterns and she made so many and hacked them and different things in, um, or combined them with, I think it was a deer and doe dress. And so I was like, that dress is really pretty. And so, you know, I looked online, I was like, yes, I'm getting it. So I decided to use this beautiful fabric, which is gifted to me um, from um, Minerva.com. I am on the Minerva Makers team, as you all know. And so what I will do is link in the description box um, directly to my profile because this um, um, blog post will be up um, by then. So this was in exchange for a blog post. And so, um, yeah, let me tell you a little bit about the fabric. It is 100% cotton. It's a broadcloth. Now it does come in, I loved this color, as you can see the color, but um, it also comes in a rust. And when I tell you, well, right now in Texas, you all know, I talk, talk about the weather, but right now, it's cooler so and when i say cooler it's about 50 degrees or something like that um it's gotten as cool as 40 um and so this weight of fabric is absolutely perfect so so super perfect uh, for this type of weather and i believe um i can get away with wearing this for still a couple more months and this is why um, it's not, even though it's a broadcloth, it's not heavy. It is not a stretch fabric. Um, it's 100% cotton and it washed really well. I will say that. I always, for the most part, wash all my um, fabrics on a cool wash um, and a light dry. And so that's what I did with this. And so 
it, it turned out really nice and have any issues um, with that and it sewed up beautifully because this is a little bit of a th it's it's not I don't want to tell you it's super thick but it is it's almost I would say it's between a cotton and a twill weight so if you're f um, familiar with a cotton twill it's not as heavy as a twill but a little heavier than just a, a a basic cotton so but it is beautiful and it's sewed up beautifully and i absolutely love the color i love just the and look i think you guys know i mentioned this in a previous video i know i subconsciously pick my fabric based on jewelry that i own i already know it i'm just subconsciously doing it and Look how this jewelry just matches <laughs> beautifully. And I picked out this necklace because look at the neckline. We'll be talking about all of this, but no need to wear a cami underneath, but I just love the points here, how it goes down and around and the necklace just sits absolutely perfect. I love it. And yes, I will, will be popping up video here and um, a couple pictures so you can see, but let's get into this pattern. So this pattern, um, the size range, now their size range goes up to a 30. I'm not sure where it went up to before, but it starts from a zero up to a size 30. So, um, and I'm just going to read you the measurements for a D cup. So they have A, B, C, D cup. And so for a D cup, it starts out at a size 0 of 37. And this is a full bust up to a 61 for a size 30, which I thought was awesome. The waist for a D cup starts from a size 30 and goes up to a 54. And then, of course, the hips um, goes from 47 to 71. So I thought that it's a really good size inclusive range. And so when I was looking at it, and those, I'm sorry, were all the finished garment measurements. And so those are the measurements I went off of to determine the size I wanted to do. So looking at the finished garment measurements, which I just read to you, I knew because my bust is at... 49 my waist is at 44 my hip is at a 52 so when i look at the full bust um i chose i chose a straight size 20 so a straight size 20 uh a full bust in a cd cup is 51 for the bust the waist is 43 and the um I'm sorry, the waist is 44 and then the hip is 61. So based on that, there's some extra ease in there. And I'll make sure I'm putting up the line drawings. Let me scoot over here as well. So you can kind of see it's not fitted. But because you have, and I did view D, if I did mention that, I did view D. Um, as you can see, it looks, the top part looks a little roomy and boxy, but it has ties that you, waist ties that can either go into the front, um, darts or the back darts. For my version, I decided to put the waist ties into the front darts so I can tie it around and cinch it, have more of a cinch in from the front all the way to the back. And I love the way that looked, that turned out. And as you can see, both versions have that dipped hem um, in the front. So, so super pretty. And I do love, and I'll talk about this in a moment, but I do love the sleeves. I love both versions. Um, I love all the versions, the dress and top. Um, and I love the sleeves on everything. I just didn't feel like doing buttons. Um, and so, um, and I don't think I had any in my stash <clears throat> to necessarily go with this. So I decided to do the um, front without the, the buttons, but I love the sleeves. Now, <laughs> I really want to do those sleeves, but as I get into the review, you'll see how I kind of messed that up when, um, as I was going through the pattern. But, so let's get into um, the instructions. So I already told you about the size I picked. I'm 5'7 for reference for anyone. Um, I was not worried about any grading and, or anything like that because of the the nature of the dress, the design and everything. I knew I didn't need more room in any particular area, especially based on the finished garment measurements I had just, um, um talked about i decided not to do pockets the one because i thought with the thickness of the fabric that they might sit out a little bit and look a little wider on the hip and so 
I just decided not to do um, the uh, pockets. Didn't want to add any extra bulk. This neckline is absolutely gorgeous. There is um, um, facing pieces for this entire front. So you do have facing. All of this is a facing piece. And if you can, you can barely tell, but you top stitch the facing piece down after you've attached it. And so you do have that facing piece um all the way around the back and in the front and so that goes in beautifully the other option you have is not to use the facing piece but to use um it's suggesting the pattern a tricot interfacing on the back side of the bodice um piece you can do that i decided as you can see i decided to go ahead and use um the facing pieces and it turned out absolutely wonderful the instructions i found i didn't i usually put notes <laughs> yeah i didn't there were I, I didn't get hung up on anything in this pattern um it just goes together beautifully and I, after i made it and i wore it and i was looking in the mirror i was like this is so pretty i this is i'm making more of these i absolutely and i want tops and i see how it's very easy to want to put the bodice of this of the fringe on the top part on two different bottoms like different types of skirts um you all know i love wearing dresses and things like that so i can definitely see that happening because all of this was so beautiful and i love that um in this grown on sleeve so you don't have to worry about setting in any sleeves but i love the seam line sit right at my shoulders nothing moving forward or back or so don't have to worry about that um the sleeve so as you can tell with the as you saw with the line drawing you would have normally this turned up which i thought was so cute and i was like oh that's gonna be real cute well i put the <laughs> i put the cuff part on the sleeve like you think you would normally put it on i wasn't paying attention to the instructions so it was supposed to be the opposite way so when i fold this up you see the right side of the fabric not the wrong side and i had did all the steps so i didn't get it i didn't because i it's it's three eighth inch to sew this up so i pretty much sewed this up on my serger um except for some of the top stitching stuff like that but instead because i had already folded this, pressed this, and I had put everything in with my serger. I wasn't going to unpick all of that. So I just said, okay, it's just going to be an extra length to the sleeve. So this is the cuff that would normally be folded, you know, up. And um, so because I had already folded that part, this was a raw edge on the inside. And so again, I wasn't going to unpick it so I can try to serge it in, you know, since I put it on wrong and everything. So I just used some stay tape because obviously there was a raw edge right there. And I just, um, I used my stay tape, my silky stay tape and just went around that raw edge. So it doesn't unravel, um, and of course I uh, stitch down, top stitch down, but underneath. So there's nothing, you know, unraveling or anything, but yeah, and then top stitch down. The hem went together beautifully. I was a little concerned because it has that dip. I'm thinking, okay, will this fold up properly? And everything folded up well. If I can show you here, I'll try to raise up my dress, but yeah. So everything folded up beautifully all the way around the hem and was able to do the hem well. And so again, I absolutely love this dress and I want to make it, I like this weight. I really like this weight of fabric. I really like this. I, um, but as the weather gets warmer, I'm definitely going to do drapier fabric. Um, cause I can totally see rayon, um, a chali, viscose, the movement of the dress would just drape a little bit differently depending on the type of fabric you use and because this is you know a little bit more of a stiffer fabric it's not you know just flowy and everything but it still fits and drapes beautifully i absolutely love this i love this pattern <laughs> i love this pattern um so i'm glad i was influenced it looks good on me the ties in the back if i can just show you tie see the tie in the back and so i didn't do it too too tight but 
the thing is as this gets a little bit more um big on me and i get more room i can make this tighter and so yeah that's what i'm thinking i should be able to get away with this even as i'm losing weight for maybe a couple more months before it has to go into my um donation bin but yes i love it i absolutely love it and i did on the back just so you know on the back facing piece. I won't take this off because I've talked about this and I showed this in my most recent um, sew along. I did my little thing with the facing piece so it's a clean edge. You can't do that with the front facing piece because it's cut on the fold. And, um, and so I did still turn under like they tell you to so it's still clean um, underneath there so. But yeah love 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 is there anything else yeah nope that's it looking at my notes that is it and hopefully i've been popping up pictures and video i absolutely love this dress love 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 the jewelry just the whole look i'm i'm loving this entire look so if you have any questions definitely leave them down in the comment section below go check out the um minerva website to check out the the um, blog post um, for a few extra pictures and yeah I think yeah and make sure you are following on Instagram if you haven't subscribed please sub consider subscribing don't forget to hit the bell so you get the notifications hit all notifications <laughs> so you don't miss an upload but yeah that's all I have for the day thank you everybody so much for tuning in and like I said in the next video I will share my marking tools as well as an update on using the genome genomi HD 3000 video Thank you everybody so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. You all have a blessed rest of your week and we will see you in the next video. Bye.